Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and this is your stimulus check update for Thursday, April 8th. I hope everyone is off to a good and safe start to their Thursday so far. And in this video, I'll be discussing updates in regards to the most recent relief package and the third stimulus check. I'll also be discussing upcoming payment dates, the possibility of a fourth stimulus check, and then I'll be wrapping up this video by answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. But first, if you wouldn't remember Kofi, liking this video, give me a big thumbs up. It really just helps with the YouTube algorithm in terms of pushing this video out to other viewers like you and hopefully helping other people like you as well. Okay, so according to a new survey from the New York Federal Reserve, Americans have been saving a good chunk of their stimulus checks or using them to pay down debt rather than spending the money on consumer goods. On average, households are using or intending to use 34% of it to pay down debt and saving 42% of the payments they received from the most recent relief bill. With all these relief payments being sent out, a lot of people don't really know what to do with it. Should I pay down debt? Should I spend it? Or should I just stash it away in a rainy day fund? Fortunately, there's an app called Status Money which helps make those decisions that much easier. For example, with Status, there's a budgeting feature where you can keep track of your finances helping you determine which areas you may need to reduce your spending in. Also, if you wish to take your financial goals to the next level, you can sign up for their coaching feature either online or through the app. And for just $10 per month, you can schedule an appointment with a coach and they'll suit you with an expert on the topic of your choosing. If you're interested in trying out status money, please feel free to join by clicking the link in the description box below. Finally, I want to thank Status Money for sponsoring this video. In the end, of course, it's really hard to blame Americans for not spending their checks on consumer goods when they're already behind so much on rent and other bills. In the comments section below, if you're comfortable doing so, let me know what you plan on using your $1,400 payment for. Alrighty, so yesterday, another huge batch of direct payments were delivered in billions of bank accounts. However, I noticed there were still quite a few people, both regular filers and those on federal benefits, who were still left behind. No worries though, even though it is extremely frustrating having to wait for such a long period of time to receive this payment, you've definitely not been forgotten. This coming weekend, more payments will be processed by the IRS for those on VA benefits, Social Security, and regular filers. These payments, just like in the past couple of weeks, are also expected to be delivered in bank accounts next Wednesday on the 14th. So at some point this weekend, possibly on Saturday or Sunday, if you haven't received your payment yet, keep an eye out on the payment portal, which should update your status. Also, keep in mind that for some people, the payment portal just never updates, yet you'll still get a payment. So update or no update, make sure to check your bank account, your direct express card, or however you receive the first two payments on Wednesday of next week. With that said, let me know in the comment section below whether or not you received your third direct payment. And if not, if you're at the very least receiving a payment date. In other news, if you're currently seeking employment, it looks like Uber is trying to sweeten the deal in order to get drivers back on the road. On Wednesday, Uber said that it plans on spending $250 million on a one-time stimulus package aimed at getting drivers back behind the wheel. These incentives are expected to welcome back existing drivers as well as first-time drivers joining the company. Some of these incentives include completing a certain amount of trips. For example, in Austin, drivers are guaranteed to receive $1,100 if they complete at least 115 trips. In Phoenix, if drivers complete 200 trips, they are guaranteed $1,775 and bonuses. I will say though, just from personal experience of being a former Uber, Grubhub, and many other driver related services, these can definitely take a big toll on your car, so that's always something to keep in mind if you're thinking about signing up. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the possibility of a forced stimulus check. So, recently, multiple lawmakers, mostly on the Democratic side, have come out in support of a fourth relief payment or even recurring $2,000 direct payments. For example, one of these proposals came from Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, who reintroduced one of her bills 
co-sponsored with Pramila Jayapal, called the ABC Act. In the ABC Act, Americans would receive $2,000 up front as sort of a down payment, with $1,000 recurring direct payments sent out on a monthly basis after that. These would then continue on a monthly basis through one year after the end of the crisis. There are also multiple other proposals, including one from Ro Khanna, where he wishes to give each family $2,000 per month until the pandemic is over. So, instead of each person in the family receiving $2,000, which would give a family of four $8,000, the entire family would instead be receiving $2,000 in total. In terms of spending, this proposal may be a little bit more realistic, However, it would definitely make it a lot more unfair to larger families who would end up receiving less per person on average. Also, one other thing to keep in mind is that many of these proposals may not be all that realistic. We saw many of them come up last year and none of them really ended up getting too much traction. The only question is, will this year by any chance be different? One reason something like this could pass is the fact that Democrats now have complete control in Washington. They have a majority in the House and the Senate, and on top of that, they're also now planning to pass the next relief package through reconciliation, which means they could include some of these social measures, such as another stimulus check or recurring ones in the next package as well. This means they won't need a single Republican on board in order to pass any of these measures that they wish to jam through. With that said, what are your personal thoughts on this? Do you believe that Democrats should try doing the next package alone without the Republicans and try passing it through reconciliation? Or do you believe that Democrats should try working with the Republicans and work out a more bipartisan package? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm gonna move right along to answering some of the comments and questions that I received in our previous video. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and jump into the first comedy video, which is from Marlene. Marlene says, I finally got the third stimulus check, but I haven't received the second one yet. Okay, thank you so much for your question, Marlene. And first off, I'm very sorry that you still haven't received your second payment of $600. In this case, since the heiress has completed sending out all the payments from the second round, at this point, in order to receive it, you'll need to quickly file a tax return claiming the $600 on it. Then, once the IRS processes your tax return, they'll send you the $600 as a tax refund. I know it's a huge pain having to go through this process, especially if you normally don't have to file, but unfortunately, this is a requirement in order to receive the money. Okay, moving right along to the next comedy video, which is from Sandra. Sandra says, I'm on SSI, and when I look at the IRS payment portal, it says unavailable. Okay, thank you so much for your comment, Sandra, and first off, I'm incredibly sorry that you still haven't received your third payment. Now, most people on Social Security benefits, such as SSI, did end up receiving their payments yesterday. However, next week, it is expected that more payments will continue going out. So over this weekend, I would continue checking the payment portal and hopefully at some point, you'll end up receiving an update. Also, as I mentioned earlier in this video, in some cases, people are still receiving their payments deposited in their accounts without ever receiving an update from the portal. So while the portal is always a good guide, it's not always perfect. With that said, again, I'm terribly sorry that you're still waiting to receive your payment, but try to hang in there as the IRS will continue sending out payments over the next several weeks. Okay, moving along to the next comedy's video, which is from Paula. Paula says, Hi Josh, can I change the bank account where I want the child tax credit to go? If I can, please tell me how. Okay, thank you so much for your question, and yes, you should be able to update all the information once the IRS gets their portal online. Even though it was expected they'd have the portal online at some point in July, since they pushed their tax filing deadline back a month, it's now expected that there could be a delay. This means instead of early July, we may not see their portal online until some point in the latter parts of July or early August. Anyways, once they do get the portal online, you should be able to update all of your information, such as your income, how many dependents you have, your updated bank account, and how you would like to receive your payments. So, you can choose to receive the child tax credit payments on a monthly basis, or if you would like, you can wait until next year to receive them in one lump sum payment. 
So again, this is something that's going to be happening a few months down the road. And on that, I'll definitely make sure to keep you updated. All right, so on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you did enjoy the content in this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It is completely free to do so, and it's a great support to me. Okay, so until next time, I'll see you guys, and I hope you have a great day today.